Well, April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. It's about empowering survivors and spreading awareness. Tonight on our side is Tina Giuliano sitting down with a survivor of sexual assault who shares her story. I'm a dressmaker, uh, a natural. I can design for anybody. No pattern, just my design. Meet Sherry Eaton, a dressmaker, an artist, a lifelong Je learner. Suis so I went in the army. Work saved my sanity. An army veteran, a sister, and a mother. I am blessed with one son. I lost six, and he is my pride and joy. But she's yeah, also yeah. a survivor. My father was a pedophile, and my brother had decided that because only males should be born first, I didn't deserve to live. I endured close to 15 years of daily sexual abuse. She eventually went to live with her grandmother. And for the first time in my life, I got to sleep all night. It was wonderful. It's a weight she carried her whole life, many days filled with flashbacks. And all of a sudden, here and now disappeared, and I'm three years old again. That whole week, I was having 25 to 30 flashbacks a day. She reached out for help, finding support at the VA and the Southern Arizona Center Against Sexual Assault. The second thing she said is, what do you need? No one in all those years ever asked me, what did I need? She says that's Sakasa's mission, to help people fight through the trauma of abuse. We're good people, but we need how to learn to overcome this stuff. She says she's learning how to move forward. Most of the time I can control the flashbacks. And she hopes others will too. You survivors, you matter. Tell what happened. Talk about it with anybody who will listen. If even one word I can say will help another young woman realize she is worth getting help. Tina Giuliano, Kega 9, on your side.